All right. Good morning, everybody. Um, so this week, um, what I'm going to be asking you guys to do um, is last week we brainstormed your Genius Hour project. This week, I want you to actually come up with a proposal for your Genius Hour project. Um, so I posted in Google Classroom. You have something that looks like this. All right. Um, we are going to complete the five W's and the one H um, in order to get an idea, wrap our mind around how it is that we are going to do this Genius Hour project. Those are who, what, when, where, why, and how. Okay. So I've already filled this out. Um, um, as you guys already know, I'm, I'm doing this along with you. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about my Genius Hour project here too. Um, I'm going to try to say about a week ahead of you guys so that um, as we're doing this, you can see what I'm doing and that can be kind of a model for you. All right. Um, so um, I actually have the who posted first. Um, what might be actually the, the first thing you're going to fill out though? I, I should probably just flip it, but that's how I remember it. So it is what it is. Okay. So uh, my goal all right, is to achieve a 1200 rating in Blitz Chess on the app chess.com. Okay, that is what I'm going to try to accomplish. All right, um, you guys, uh, you guys came up with some great ideas. So you're going to look into into your brainstorming, uh, the ideas that you brainstormed, and you're going to think about what might make for the best Genius Hour project. And in order to do this, and we'll post this as well, we're going to use uh, the SMART acronym. Okay, so this is something that you may or may not have heard from. Okay, but um, it is an acronym that helps us kind of figure out if the goals that we're coming up with are SMART. And that comes down to specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. All right. Okay. So, um, for example, all right, I'm going to be rich. All right. Um, it, is it, is it specific? Absolutely not. Cause I don't know how rich you want to be. All right. Um, is it measurable? Yes. Okay. If you were to give me a more specific answer, it, it might be. Is it is it attainable or achievable? Absolutely. It is. It is attainable. You might become rich. Is it relevant? Now, this is this is important. All right. Is it something that you really want? All right. Is it something that you're really going to accomplish? Is it relevant to your life? All right. Is it time bound? Absolutely not. Okay. I want to be, live to be a hundred. Specific? Yes. Measurable? Absolutely. Attainable? Sure. Okay. Theoretically, it could be relevant. Eh, yeah. Okay. Who wants to, we want to live to be a hundred. Is it time bound? Uh, no. Okay. So for me, I'd have to wait for the next 69 years to see if I'm going to live to be a hundred. So for that reason, it does not meet my criteria of smart. All right. I want to run a marathon 26.2 miles next week. Is it specific? Absolutely. Is it measurable? Sh sure. Yep. Is it achievable? I'm going to go ahead and tell you no. All right, I might be able to run a marathon in the next um, in the next two weeks. It's possible, theoretically, okay, but it's it's not going to be something that um, you know is probably healthy for anyone to do. Mr. Collins, for sure. Me, you, probably not. Is it is it relevant? Um, I, I don't have a whole lot of motivation to run twenty six point two miles in the next two weeks. So no. Is it time bound? Sure, okay, but it does not meet my, my middle two criteria. All right. I would like to achieve a 1200 blitz rating on chess.com. Is it specific? Absolutely. Okay. I have a specific rating here. Okay. I'm currently, and I'll show you guys mine here in a little bit, currently sitting at 1200. All right. Um, so that, that works there. Um, is it measurable? Yep. Because it's specific, it is measurable. All right. So I will be able to measure how much my growth is. And if actually, if I look on this, Okay, this, this throws down and it shows me, um, a, a rating or my chart of how, how much I've gone up and down. Um, is it attainable? I believe so. Um, it, it's, it's a little bit lofty of a goal. 1100 might have been a more reasonable one, but I, I think I can. Is it relevant? And I'm going to talk about that here in a little bit. That, that's going to come down to our why. All right. Um, yeah. And, and for me, it is. And is it time bound? Yes. Okay. So all of these genius hour projects are going to be time, by, time bound by the end of the year. Okay. So when you're completing this, I want you to think about, all right, that that's not a whole lot that goes in there. It can be just one sentence. That's totally fine. Okay. But if it's not specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time bound, then I'm going to send this back to you and say, ask you that, that you rethink it. Okay. All right. So that's for the what. All right. The who, okay. The who I want you guys to do a little bit differently um, than I actually did it in my original YouTube video, if you go back and look at it. But for the who, I want you to think about who can help you. All right. For me, I, I play more chess than anybody I know, all right? So I don't know a whole lot of people that are better than me in chess. Not trying to boost, okay? It's just kind of a fact, all right? However, all right, we all can get some outside help, 
All right. And for me, um, because chess.com has so much, I have so much stats on there. I have so much, um, so many games that I've played over the last 10 years that I reached out to Mr. Dunlap to help me kind of wade through these statistics. All right. And, and the other part of that, the other thing that Mr. Dunlap happens to be a expert at, he's also an expert at psychology. And for Mr. Dunlap, looking at stats and looking at psychology, those are kind of like two sides of the same coin. They're, so he's, um, I've actually reached out to him twice already. Um, I, I will be including them in my podcast that I'll be posting at the end of this week. But he has been incredibly helpful kind of working through those stats and kind of like talking about the psychology behind, you know, optimizing performance. All right. The other part of that that Mr. Dunlap is incredibly helpful about is, is that he's a coach. All right. And so some of his advice, you know, it's just good coach advice. Things that I would probably tell to my wrestlers, and I'm sure that some of your coaches would tell to you, all right, is like things like, you know, don't take your losses in stride. All right. Don't get too caught up on it. All right. Look at the more big picture of how you're progressing. And he's been a, a really phenomenal job for this. So for this who, I want you to think about who is it that you'll reach out to for help with this and why is it that they might be helpful? All right. Where? All right. This is, um, th this is something that in, in, you know, times being what they are, we have to consider. For me, it's pretty easy. I play both on my phone. Okay, and on the desktop that I'm recording this on. Okay, so that's my where it comes down to. All right, but where also for you, it might be um, if you're doing like an art project. All right, um, where is your setup going to be? If you are doing a fitness challenge, all right, where is the place that you are going to be able to set up to be able to do that fitness challenge? All right, um, so thinking about where it is that you're actually going to be completing this, making sure that you have a space that is set aside for you to complete this project. All right, when? All right. Now, again, um, what I'm going to be asking that you guys do is I'm going to be asking that you commit one hour a week. I'm sorry. Excuse me. One hour a day to improving at this project. All right. And um, it's really important to consider when that hour is going to be. So for me, OK, I try to get up, not try. I do. I get up every day at seven. All right. And I work for about an hour on my chest before I start my work in here in the office. OK, so. Think about your schedule, all right? And I know that your schedules are all messed up right now because of the things that are going on in the world. Okay, so think about when is going to be the hour that you are going to set aside to do this. You might set aside, you might not set aside one constant hour. Maybe you set aside 15 minutes in the morning, all right, and 15 minutes at night, okay? All right, but what's going to be the time that's going to best work for you, okay? Why? All right, and this is incredibly important, guys, and this comes down to that relevant um, part of the SMART acronym, is is ultimately this should be something that you want to do, that it's something that even if I'm not telling you to do it, which again, I am telling you to do it, all right, if I wasn't there to tell you to do it, you would do it anyway because you want to, all right? So why is this relevant to you? Why is this important, all right? And for me, um, you may or may not know this about me, I'm a fiercely competitive human being, okay? I like to win, all right? It makes me feel good, all right? The flip side of that is, is I hate to lose. I hate it, all right? With every morsel of my being, I despise losing, all right? And that's something that I have to actually be aware of with this project because if I do lose, all right, which I do a lot, all right, then I need to be able to overcome that. All right, furthermore, Okay, and again, this is something that I've talked about in my YouTube videos. Okay, go ahead and follow likes. That G wagon is not going to buy itself, folks. All right. Okay. Um, is is that over the course of my life? Okay, over the course of the last ten years, Chess.com and how I've done at Blitz Chess has kind of been a barometer telling me how well or how poorly my life's going, and, and it just is. Okay, so if I pull up these stats, okay, if I look at this, all right, what? And I don't understand why it's not. It's not showing me my my actual chart because it usually does. There it is. Okay. So if I was to look at this over the last all time, all right, okay, every one of these peaks here has been a time in my life when things have been going pretty well. If I look at these valleys, okay, these are times in my life where things have been going pretty poorly. All right. So this is kind of something that I have want to do because um I I it's just kind of a symbolic for me, okay? It's been a rough year. I'm going to be completely honest. Many of you guys know that, okay? So this is just something symbolic for me to, to be able to improve, all right? The other part about this, and I'm going to shrink this down to one year, all right? Actually, um, so you look, 
Okay, I've mainly, okay, in the last year it's been crappy chess. Even when I'm playing well, I'm playing in the 800 range, okay? All right, and even mid-900s tops. Okay, so I've kind of plateaued, okay? I've kind of, like, reached my peak. In the last six weeks or so, I have worked, and I've been able to play consistently in the 10,000s, which is great for me. I've never done that in my entire chess career. Okay, I've never been able to do that, all right? So another part of this is breaking down plateaus. Okay. And so being able to push past these boundaries, all right. And it's my hope that if I'm able to push past these plateaus in chess, then maybe I can apply those lessons, those skills that I've learned in this and apply that to other parts of my life. Maybe I can become a better teacher. Maybe I can become a better coach, better city council member, and maybe just playing a better person. All right. So that, that's why I'm doing this. All right. Now the how, all right. This one's important. All right. And I made my own whole own video about this. And I'm going to tell you guys, I'm actually recommitting as of today, May 4th. I am recommitting to change how I do this because mainly what I've been doing is, is I've been going back and analyzing games, just playing a lot of chess. And quite honestly, I've just hit another plateau. I'm not getting any better. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend about an hour to 45 minutes each morning where I'm not just playing chess. I'm actually going to be directly learning and trying to improve in the game. All right. So this is going to start at 7 a.m. each morning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spend 10 to 15 minutes examining games, identifying weaknesses. All right. Um, I actually have uh, some great software. If you watch the video that I'll post with Mr. Dunlap, um, I actually go through it. All right. I'm going to spend 15 to 20 minutes um, viewing lessons. So chess.com, they have a great section where it's learn. All right. And they have all these lessons that I'm going to kind of try to make it take advantage of in order to get my actual chess game better. All right. So that's a part of how I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to do focus drills. Again, chess.com has a drill section. Okay. So if I go to play, I've got puzzles. Okay. So I can go through here and, and I can actually practice specific skills. Okay. I can like pr practice specific skills and it, it tells me my score on these. Okay. So like, for example, attacking a castle king, I've only got 45% accuracy on. So I can give myself targeted places that I can improve my game at. All right, so this is something that I'm going to uh, work on um, to specifically get better. All right, um, and then I'm going to spend the last 15 to 20 minutes of my hour actually taking these um, skills that I've worked on and putting them into practice in real games. All right, so this is my plan to break through this current plateau that I'm at right here. All right, so as you guys can tell, this is a little bit of a lengthy document. All right, I look at the total word count on here, okay, minus the, the words that I wrote in the instructions. I'm looking at about 500 words, all right? You guys should be roughly around the same length. Please, please, please do not just turn in one sentence for each of these. I want you to really put some thought into this about how it is that you're going to accomplish this Genius Hour project, okay? This is your entire week's worth of work, okay? So you should at least spend an hour sitting down and doing this. And when we sit down for our Zooms, you better believe I'm going to talk to you about this, okay, guys? And I'm going to ask you guys questions about what you're thinking for this so that we can try to develop this together. All right. As always, if you guys are stuck, if you don't know what to do, please reach out to me, guys. I have office hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'd be happy to sit down and speak with you. Um, but I'm here for you. All right. And again, this is supposed to be fun. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys do. All right. Miss you guys.